Tony and State had, uh, did a really nice job just the way they try to put things together. Uh, first half trying to, I think, offensively uh, did a good job dinking around, slowing the clock down, snapping it late, making the game a little short. I think first quarter we had like three or four minutes. And uh, it wasn't because we were trying to go fast and by any means a high octane. They just did a good job of milking us. We had the, the fumble punt, uh, which gave them three. And then we have the pick in the second half, which gives them seven. So, you know, great play by 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 by, by Nate trying to keep it in bounds, and and Simi coming back to tackle. We did give up the touchdown there, but uh, they get ten points off turnovers. Um, you know, defensively early a little little out of whack, but as it went go, got going on, they settled down. Um, offensively, we had a hard time getting Nate going, but they were dropping eight and and kind of really playing the perimeter. And I think that's you know with the line we got and the running backs. It's, one of the reasons I think the run game was good. We've got to do a better job, you know, getting him off to, you know, in rhythm and starting with young receivers. Sometimes the spacing and depth just looked uh, a little funky to him. And I think he had a hard time just trusting and cutting it loose on a couple throws. But, uh, you know, good start. Um, um, you know, again, coming out of this one healthy like we came into camp, a lot of things to work on. You make a lot of those strides, they say, from week one to week two. Now we're going into an open date. So, you know, we'll have a lot to look at and grow from. And we'll have a really good challenge the next two weeks going uh, to Bowling Green and then the following on the road. So uh, appreciate our fans. So we had a good fan, a fan day today, uh, Labor Day weekend with the weather. Those guys kind of hanging with us, thought the building was good and the band was cats. So decent day, a lot to build on, a uh, lot more positives and negatives, a lot of young guys playing. So, um, Again, like a lot of things we saw, got a lot to work on. Questions? Kevin, what about the, your thoughts on the defense and the way they played? Uh, again, I'd like to see us. Uh, I thought sometimes we lost uh, some containment, you know, with the quarterback laying out of the pocket. And, uh, uh, but as we went along, we got better pressure later in the game. Uh, again, we tackled well for the most part. Didn't see a lot of missed tackles uh, and had some negative plays. We need to tighten our coverage up a little bit. We had we had our hand on the ball, had the ball on the ground. We got to get some turnovers out of it, you know, and uh, get some cheap stops. But they're they're better, they're more athletic. It's still again, it's just a start. It's not close um, to what it can be and ought to be, and and not just from no. You can always skew numbers and all of a sudden say, wow, this number looks good, this number looks bad. From a, from a, the stat side, just to me, it's a it was a good start, but. Uh, I think they got a ways to go to really be a really good game day defense, really cutting it loose and trust. I think the more they play and get used to the scheme, get used to the calls, and get used to each other and the adjustments, the better they'll be. So good start. Um, but I think they're a long way away, away from what, what we're going to see as the year goes along. And, and I expect them to continue to keep, uh, keep, keep spiking the right way. Was the play calling toned down, maybe a little vanilla on purpose, you know, first game of the season, going into a bye week? I don't, you know, um, I don't know if, you know, we. we you know, we had a lot up. We just had a hard time getting good. Uh, we always, you know, you talk about, you know, being physical and we talk about, you know, the guy with the ball can be a physical player too. So, you know, you don't have to, to let them hit you. You can hit them as you're running with the ball. So to get behind your pads and all that, it was good to see because, you know, a lot of times we do that full go up tackling where you don't really tackle them. So, you know, with, with Tevin having played a lot and D'Angelo being a senior, it's a lot of experience. It's nice to get Miles and Divine out there and get those guys busted out and, and get their feet wet as well. But, um, um, you know, Coach McCullough, you know, pretty good player uh, in his own right, kind of with, by playing effort, kind of coaches that way. And it was uh, as good to see that. And you'll say, you know, you got a good line or they're all back. You know, you got to give some 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 credit to Fuchs and, and uh, Michael Cooper because so many times they're backside at the reach blocking and and it's that's the guy that, that, that pops those runs for Tevin instead of two or three that goes six, eight, ten, uh, sometimes a point of attack. So, you know, when you, you know, when you have a good running game, you think your line played well. And typically, a lot of times, it's perimeter blocking and, and backside tight end blocking makes the run game go. So you throw the ball well. You don't think the line didn't block. And sometimes it's great pass protection. Our protection could have been better today. So, uh, but I think the backs, uh, you know, there's some experience. And, you know, we're going to play four or five of them. You know, we're going to need two or three. And uh, again, it's nice, you know, like, you know, when you think about it, it was AT day. So I think Tevin's numbers were fifth most in school history, and the rushing total was seventh most. So a little something for Coach Mallory and Coach AT to be, or uh, Anthony to be proud about. So, because we talked about that a year ago, we wore, we wore the block eye, representing a great era and a great coach. And, um, you know, we didn't get it done. And we talked about, uh, you know, if we were going to wear that eye and we we're going to put that, uh, you know, 32 AT on your back, it, it represents a group of guys that really played hard. 
And you can talk about talent all you want to, but really played hard. And it was it was nice. And I, I, that's that's the best thing about today. I thought we started at a tone of, of for the most part, on both sides, we played hard. It wasn't pretty. We got a lot of things to coach and clean up. A lot of things we got to figure out as, as coaches, putting them in better situations. And a lot of things these kids can grow from. But when, you're, when your team's out there physically playing hard, you know, it, it's 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 hard to be mad. And like I say, it was a close game, but I was kind of having fun with it. It was kind of nice to those kids battle around a little bit. You, know, you said it was by design, or you talked that this week it was going to be by design to play that many true freshmen. I think you, uh, you played at least nine. Can you talk about that? Yeah, uh, and again, a lot of again a lot of starters back. But what you've got is you've got some competition. So there's some young guys on defense that are as talented, and maybe in time more talented than some seniors. So you got the experienced senior guy, you got the young guy with talent. Young guy makes mistakes, but he's got some skill set. And what that does, it's going to that's the competition our defense has lacked, and um, the off, the offense has had where with receivers and linemen and quarterbacks and everybody fighting to get on the field, running backs. So hopefully that's a sign that that that, that we can re really push these guys because uh, I, th I think if we do this the right way we, as coaches, these kids will have a hard time you know, you know, sitting back. They've got to have great habits in their preparation and their work, and then they've got to go out and perform well. So it's nice to have a lot of experience, but again, we've recruited reasonably well. We're recruiting to a great school. We ought to recruit good players, and we've got some good young ones, and it's kind of nice to get them going today. Um, he I, shoot, he could probably have more if he wasn't so tired. So I got to get his, get 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 his winning up. But he, you know, um, uh, you know, it's what's that? Twenty three. It's ten yards a pop. You know, and and now, but again, you know, now you're gonna say, you know, all, you know, next next week he might have eighty yards and play a better game because all of a sudden the box is loading, the ball gets in the perimeter, the ball gets down the field. So, you know, those numbers get skewed around. So. Um, he's a legitimate player. He's one of the better players in the league, but he can't do anything without those guys around him. Uh, end of the game, I saw some of his receivers really battling and blocking their tail off for him. Uh, the line's pretty solid. Uh, we talked about that because we talked about Anthony's success was also due to a bunch of linemen that nobody can remember those five guys that played really hard for three or four years in those tight ends. So um, I, I'm sure when you talk to Tevin Day, he'll be very complimentary of, of the guys that played for him and his backup that came in. and kept the pressure off the team and kept it going. So uh, he's a good teammate, and I think he's one of the better players in this conference. Nate ran the ball 10 times today. I'm guessing you'd like to see him run less. Yeah, but again, when sometimes in the drop eights, it wasn't there, and we got to look at our plan. It wasn't a whole lot of technically designed stuff. He did, I think, manage it for the most part pretty well as far as not trying to get hits and take. You know, he did miss a couple things on scrambles. So we got some stuff to you know, you know, you know, take off him, but. Um, um, it was nice to see him protect the ball and protect himself. We made one poor decision in the passing game that cost us a turnover. Other than that, um, I just think he had a hard time seeing it, and I don't think we did a good job of game planning for him moving forward. And we got to do a better job for him, and he'll be fine. Specifically with Simi, how important was he to the offense today? You know, I mean, he made a big player too and got to make a couple more. And he also ran some routes at wrong depth. and. You know, again, it's amazing. Like we told him today, you know, you're a freshman, and we say line up here on the kickoff return team on the 35, but you're going to go out there and be on the 25. Or we say run a six-yard route, and all of a sudden it's 12 in the game because you just get a little out of whack. So as those guys play, they'll get, I think all those guys, they're far from being good players. Jay Sean also is very, very good. we got Dom out there at the end. Um, those three players start at a higher level than some of our other senior players or, or previous players have started, but we'll see how far they get. They're, they're not as good as those guys yet. So they're, they're starting at a nice place for freshmen. You know, and again, I, I, I don't have a problem playing freshmen, and I don't say it's an excuse when you play freshmen. There's just some growing pains you go through, and you got to live with it. You know, And like I didn't like the first punt returns. I didn't like Devine's carry. First carry was on the three-yard line coming out. I'm like, what are we thinking? You know, At the same time, when you're parents, you got to let your kid drive 12 hours to the beach. I didn't much like that, <laughs> but we did. And you know, we got we to put them freshmen out there, and they got to go play, and they got to squeeze the ball. And, so it's nice to get Simi going, but he, th those guys got a long way to go. Kevin, after playing, after playing one game, um, concerns about having a week off. Is, what, what do you think about so quick after the first game? Yeah, you know, I would not be a fan. Now, again, it's, it's the calendar and schedule. I wouldn't be a fan if you only had one open date to be early because sometimes you need it later just to catch your breath and, and from health concerns. So what we looked at was we wanted to put this game – as a part of our preparation and, and have a plan to play well today, but kind of prepare 
through the open date week as a part of our preseason process. Not to say it's not slaying Indian State. Not watch those guys last year. They played. They played hard today. They always have. And I got. A lot, they had a great plan today. They gave themselves a chance. And so I got a lot of respect for their kids and their coaches. Uh, but we didn't want to peak and then sit down next week and relax. We were trying to get ready for what I think is a very strong six-game schedule of you know a couple road trips. I think we got three on the road. You know, going to Bowling Green, going to Missouri, and I was in there, and then coming home, you know, with Maryland as the opener and North Texas coming in and Michigan State. So our deal was trying to 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 take this game as a learning opportunity and not be in a preseason mindset, but have the mindset that we're ready for a really good six game stretch and to play the best we can and see how far we can come through preseason through this game, through up and date, and what's going to be, I think, the meat of the schedule. Not so there's some great teams are playing the whole schedule, but to really, you know, have the, the toughness and the health and the maturity. And now that we've played a game, it'll be obvious a lot of things that we need to polish, eliminate, grow, a lot of things we need to gain on. So, you know, I, I don't dislike it, but if it was if it was the only one, I'd, I would hate it. So I don't dislike it as is. Bobby Richardson had three sacks today. Can you just talk about it? He's had his best camp. He's healthy. He's always had a little bit of like a uh, a groin sports sports hernia kind of deal, and he's and he's kind of got that taken care. of. He's had his best preseason. He's been one of our best. It's kind of nice when you have seniors doing their best, and he's he's had a great preseason. I think he's one of the better players. I think he always has, but he's been a little gimpy and not as explosive, and hopefully he's going to have a very, very strong year. And I expect some of those guys up front, too. Coach, you had a, a fourth and one uh, after Redding made a nice play on the screen pass. And, uh, <laughs> is there a reason you went ahead and decided to go for it instead of trying for a field goal? I thought it was a little long, and it was the end of the win. And we took took a wide play, and he lost his footing. We also mismanaged another, you know, on third third and fourth down. Where just And it was kind of my, my, my discretion, so – don't be don't be throwing stones. We get we got uh, I, they did a nice job defensively. Actually, just making some adjustments that was different than last year. So I think again we just had a hard time getting a feel of where some of the zone rotations were and what was going to be open for that. And sometimes I mean we took some shots. You know we took some shots down the field. Some of the times when we were scrambling, it was some shots down the field. So um, uh, you know we the, but the run game was going well enough. We we rode that probably a little bit more. But their structure was a little bit softer. Defending the perimeter, and it gave us some a chance to get a lot of hats on hats and and, and give the back some creases. Uh, we didn't manage a couple scoring situations real good, um, but I don't know if I'd call it vanilla. Just you know, just kind of where we started and where it is. I think or toned down or whatever.